just now. This is KSDK, Channel 5, St. Louis. First in information. And now, complete coverage of today's news, weather, and sports. This is 5 on 5 with Dick Ford and Jennifer Blow. Well, good evening. This is our night on 5 on 5 to focus on entertainment. And now, Channel 5, Eyewitness News at noon. Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis. Now, Channel 5, Eyewitness News at 5 on 5. Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis. And now, Channel 5, Eyewitness News at 6. Two children are dead tonight after a Central West End house fire. Good evening, everybody. I'm Stan Stovall. And I'm Karen Foss. Say hello. Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis. And now, Channel 5 Eyewitness News Update. school district parents are dealing with a deadly virus. Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis. And now, Channel 5 Eyewitness News, today in St. Louis, early edition. Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis. And now, Channel 5 Eyewitness News today in St. Louis. Thunder, lightning, and a little rain will be darkening our skies this morning. Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis. And now, Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 6. Channel 5, KSDK St. Louis, now 24 hours a day. This is News Channel 5 Daybreak. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jennifer Blown. And I'm Art Holiday. This is News Channel 5. KSDK St. Louis. This is News Channel 5, today in St. Louis. Daybreak. Channel 5, KSDK St. Louis. Now 24 hours a day. This is News Channel 5 at 10. Really with you guys at all. And I think Tempers flare tonight in Deloitte. Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis, where the news comes first. This is News Channel 5, today in St. Louis at 6. Good morning, I'm Art Holliday. And I'm Kay Quinn. Jennifer Blome has the... Tonight on News Channel 5 at 6. I'm Matush Galindo in California, Missouri, where one of the victims from Monday night shooting spree was laid to rest. I'll have a live report. I'm Mike Owens reporting from Scott Air Force Base, Illinois. MAC, TAC, and SAC are combining, and the combination of those abbreviations can mean big money for this area. Details coming up next. And it was only a matter of time. A company is making a killing off the fear of AIDS.
from Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Full honors today for a Montauk County Reserve deputy shot down Monday night when a gunman went on a killing. From Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis, where the news comes first, this is News Channel 5 at 10. It's news, and you're watching Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis, where the news comes first. With Jennifer Blom, Art Holliday, and Mary Beth Robel, this is New Channel 5. The Supreme Court has expanded the use of drug testing in public schools. It's 5 p.m. and you're watching Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis, where the news comes first. With Kay Quinn, Jeff Fowler, Scott Connell, and Malcolm Briggs, this is News Channel 5. Let the festivities begin. It's 10 p.m. and you're watching Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis, where the news comes first. This is News Channel 5. Tonight's Dateline NBC has a St. Louis connection, concentrating on a parasite in drinking water, which has been found before in the St. Louis area. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Gray, and for Rick Edlin. And I'm Karen Foss. Thank you for joining us tonight. You're watching News Channel 5 at 10, where the news comes first. St. Louis doctors perform a medical miracle by giving a youngster his second lung transplant. Good evening. You're watching News Channel 5 at 10 with Karen Foss, Rick Edlin, Paul Goodlow, and Mike Bush. And on the night beat, Deanne Lane, Dan Gray, and Ruthie Zell. This is News Channel 5 at noon with Art Holiday, Jennifer Blum, Kelly Jackson, and John Fuller. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Teachers. This is News Channel 5 at 6. With Deanne Lane, Dan Gray, John Fuller, and Mike Bush. This is News Channel 5 at 10. With Karen Foss. Dan Gray, Cindy Pressler, and Mike Bush. And on the night beat, Deanne Lane and Steve Jankowski. ...from getting a new addition to their family. I'm meteorologist Mike Roberts. It's the last weekend of April, and it's going to be fantastic. I'll have your forecast. The news starts now. This is News Channel 5. Today in St. Louis. Good morning. It's Saturday, April the 26th, and our top story this morning. A pickup crash in Franklin County has killed three teenagers there. This is News Channel 5, Today in St. Louis, where the news comes first. With Randy Jackson and meteorologist Mike Roberts. You're watching News Channel 5 at 10 in high definition with Deanne Lane. Mike Bush, Chief Meteorologist Cindy Pressler, and Sports Director Rennie Knott. From your Olympic station, this is a News Channel 5 Late Edition. Good morning. In high definition, this is News Channel 5, today in St. Louis. In high definition, this is News Channel 5, where the news comes first. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a break, and we're hoping that this reward will, will provide that break. In high definition, 
This is News Channel 5, where the news comes first. It's been more than four years. You're watching News Channel 5, where the news comes first. Happening now, the search for three men who invaded a home overnight. The You're watching News Channel 5, where the news comes first. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Casey Nolan, in for Mike Bush, and... You're watching News Channel 5, where the news comes first. Right now on News Channel 5 at noon, overnight violence in downtown St. You're watching News Channel 5, where the news comes first. Good evening, everyone. Here is a live look downtown, hot. You're watching News Channel 5 where the news comes first. Well, good morning to it is Wednesday, August 19th. I'm Nicole Burley. And I'm Pat McGonigal. Thanks so much for starting your Wednesday morning here with us, man. Scott Connell yes. said we were going to get some weather and. You're watching News Channel 5 on your side. Next at five, an epic battle on the ice at Bush. The Blues crushed the Blackhawks four to one in front of us. Cold air has returned to the bi-state area and even a few snowflakes in the forecast later today. We'll get you caught up on what to expect for your Wednesday ahead. Some local heroes getting the thanks they deserve. The reason Governor Brightens will be in St. Louis today. The battle over President Trump's immigration ban is heating up. Some things are law and I'm all in favor of that. And some things are common sense. This is common sense. Just how soon we can get a landmark decision from the Court of Appeals and celebrating 70 years. Thanks, Scott. I don't know if there'll be any donuts left. Don't do that to me. We're taking a look back at some of the best moments in today in St. Louis's history. From five on your side, this is Today in St. Louis. And good morning to you. It's Wednesday, February 8th. I'm Alexandra Corey. And I'm Renny Not. Thank you. Good. How a 10 year old is saving strangers two months after his death. A young pastor honored. The St. Louis community remembers a young father and someone who called for peace during the Ferguson unrest. Health care fight. The Republican plan to replace Obamacare is no longer a secret. Why members of the GOP are pushing back against their own bill. Dorm days. How Mizzou is giving fans the chance to relive their college life. Your news starts now. St. Louis's number one 10 p.m. newscast. This is Five on Your Side. It's been almost two months since a tragic crash at St. Louis Lambert International. Your Side, St. Louis's number one 6 p.m. newscast. We're following a developing story at 6. A man is in custody whom police say fired shots on I-2.